Moin, willkommen zurück bei Everlasting Summer. Das letzte Mal haben wir bei dieser schwierigen Entscheidung geendet. Wollen wir zusammen mit Uliana hier das Chaos in der Messe, also man sieht ja, es ist helles Chaos ausgebrochen, es gab auch Verletzte. Ähm, ja, sollen wir es sauber machen oder sollen wir sie einfach allein lassen? Ja. It's not like I have nothing better to do than cleaning up the mess here. I have to seek the answers. The truth is out there, somehow flashed through my mind. So, ich möchte hier nicht bleiben, das habe ich letztes Mal gemacht. Wir wollen einfach abhauen, denn wir müssen endlich auch noch mit Lena zusammenarbeiten. Gucken wir mal. The solution came out of thin air. While Olga Dimitrevna was scolding Ilyana, I sneaked up to the exit. Thank goodness it was nearby. Getting outside, I've hesitated for a few moments and ran into electronic. Looks like he was working till late at the club. Where's the fire? Fire? My shuttle is leaving in 10 minutes. <laughs> What? Hey, wait. Electronics wood hung in the air behind me. I ran off to the square. I'm definitely not the... It's definitely not the best place to hide. Indeed, in the state of stress or fatigue, I frequently start talking to myself. Well, not really talking, but rather mumbling under my breath. It helps me to concentrate and find the right solution quickly. Und das ist ein Zeichen von Wahnsinn. Okay, where to next? Where should I go? The best place would be the one with the least amount of people. Consequently, my way lies to the woods. Ja, da findest du bestimmt einen Wohn. Half a minute later, I was already relaxing, sitting on a stump near the forest trail. Eben noch hat er sein Wegrennen vor sich selbst gerechtfertigt mit Ich muss die Antworten suchen. Und jetzt chillt er im Wald. Super. That was one hell of a getaway. Hopefully that would teach Oliana to behave. Indeed, she's not a child anymore. Well, sad but true, not a child anymore. No, a thought crossed my mind. I might have sort of mishandled the whole situation. A fair share of broken tableware is on my account. Moreover, one might mention that I didn't have to engage into the mess at the beginning. It got me thinking. How's the weather? Slavia stood right before me. How does she manage to sneak up unnoticed? Thank goodness it's not Olga Dimitrievna. Fine. That were the only words I've managed to squeeze out of myself. I just thought, I just thought I'll find you here. Why? I'm not sure, it's just... She looked up at the sky. There are less people around here. Does Latvia really think I have some sort of social phobia? Wer sieht damit so falsch? Thinking twice, she, actu she, <laughs> she actually has a reason to think so. And what are you doing here? Looking for you. She smiled again, but this time her smile looked a bit different. A little friendlier, I guess. Me? Why? Can't you guess? I braced and prepared for a harsh lecture. I understand that you are guilty to a lesser degree than Ilyana. It is the camp leader's assistant defending me. I felt even more pathetic. Damn, get serious. We, we are not going to play bad cop, good cop here. But granted that you aren't gonna help her, you will help me. Mann, ich will nicht... Ich will nicht dir helfen! Ich will Lena helfen! Lass mich endlich in Ruhe! Warum rennst du mir so hinterher? Saying that, Slavia looked up at the sky yet again. I wonder what is she looking for in there? Für ihr Mutterschiff. And what do I need to do? We have to reorganize the books in the library. It's way better than disciplinary enslavement together with Liliana. And anyway, it was an offer I couldn't refuse. I'm all at your service, mademoiselle, or oh, madam. She laughed. <laughs> Then follow me, monsieur. 
In a couple of minutes we were in the library. Oder draußen. On the way I kept looking around in fear of meeting Olgiana Dimitrievna. It looks like Slavia didn't notice my anxiety. And still it's quite odd that she, she hasn't scolded me. Well, if we are to continue our analogy, Slavia is definitely a good cow. When we came inside, a gleaming sunlight streamed through the windows at the library, with myriads of dust particles dancing in the beams. This is a special library dust with this distinctive smell that you can never confuse with anything. These microscopic pieces of moribund collected works of Marxism-Leninism classics. That's interesting. Does the dust near the fiction shelf smell alike to the dust near the books on physics and chemistry? You start with those, Rose. Slavia pointed at the bookshelf near the Lenin sculpted head. Okay, but what exactly do I do? Just remove the books from the shelves and put them on the floor. We'll dust them and then we put them back. By looking at all the stuff, reading is Barry a pioneer's favorite activity. Any idea where Zenya might be? Don't know, she probably went somewhere. Strange. It appears that there are just two places in the world where one can meet Zenya, library and the canteen. I got into gear. I guess I've never had so many books in my hands simultaneously in my entire life. Anyway, I'm much more used to reading from a computer screen or a tablet. Firstly, there's no need in paying for electronic books. Oh doch, mein Freund! <coughs> Bitte. And secondly, you cannot find everything in printed form. How is it going? Asked Slavia, standing behind the bookshelves. It's okay, it goes on little by little. Have you read anything from that? From what? Well, about communism... Nah, I'm kind more into historical books. And adventures. Me too. Well, historical literature wasn't exactly my favorite, but the class struggle under socialism was definitely no match for it. Hey, don't take grat... Hey, don't take grat from Ilyana. I don't. Indeed, I felt that my ego mostly recovered from the incident at the canteen. Besides, I managed to clean myself from the lunch leftovers in a forest lake. It's not like she's doing all that out of spite. Out of spite or not, but one should think <laughs> through his own actions. <sighs> Whatever. I kept moving around dozens of books written by people totally unknown to me. I'm gonna forget who they are in a minute, and I'll never get to know what they were writing about. That is the doom of many writers, to become a forsaken set of letters in a hardcover on a bookshelf in a library of a non-existent pioneer's camp reality. Have you finished? Yeah, I think so. Me too. Okay, let's do it this way. I'll be wiping them up, and you will be putting them back on the shelves. But I don't remember in what order they were placed before. It's okay. Nobody reads them anyway. Warum haben wir überhaupt eine Bibliothek? It looks it look like she has a smile for every occasion. Oder sie ist einfach dumm. Only a couple of times I've managed to notice slight differences, shades of emotions in that smile. Joy, happiness, sadness. But these shades were so evanescent, I wasn't really sure that I'm not imagining things. This time her smile looked a little flirty. Yeah, probably. At least I wouldn't be reading this stuff. Slavia was wiping the covers with a damp cloth, and I was putting the books back on the shelf. We were a good team, our job was almost done. Why didn't you take anything from the upper shelves? Upper shelves? I've looked up. Uh, sorry, I haven't noticed them. It's all right. Wait a moment. I'll bring the chair. Even with my rather considera considerable stature, I won't be able to get them. I stood on the chair and proceeded with removing the books from the shelves and passing them to Slavia. 
After a while, there was only about a dozen books left at the farthest end of the shelf. It looked to me that it won't be hard to reach out. I always felt like taking a larger bite than biting twice. Ich sage voraus, ich habe dieses hier nicht gespielt, aber ich sage, er fällt vom Stuhl und landet auf ihr. Wir werden es sehen. And doing that bite without moving the chair under me became the fatal error. Aha, er fällt schon mal. Oh nein, ich bin so überrascht. Ich hoffe, ihr auch. Damit hätte ich niemand gerechnet. Das passiert auch sehr oft im, im richtigen Leben. Mm. Opening my eyes, I found myself on top of Slavia. Are you... Did I... Are you alive? I got a fright of my life. Even if I'm only 17 now, falling down from a chair on a girl or something else... I'm fine. Her face was only an inch away from mine. Anything broken? Don't think so. Das passiert übrigens auch nur in Filmen und so, dass man auf jemanden draufhält und dann erstmal liegen bleibt und eine Unterhaltung führt. Im normalen Leben würde man aufstehen und sagen, oh, sorry, sorry und sich die Klamotten abklopfen und sagen, ah, ja, tut mir leid. Hm. Okay. You'd become a rather bad stuntman. She laughed. <laughs> you bet. I've looked into her eyes. Just looked. I wasn't sure what I should say, and Slavia either hesitated to or just let me take the lead. At this rate, something might happen. Her lips were so close to mine. Oh, bitte. The natural desire started to awake in my body. What was it right? I had a desire to stand up, but was unable to do it. Slavia was just lying in silence and looked me straight into the eyes. All of a sudden, I noticed the bell sound of the edge of hearing. It's dinner time. Yeah. Und die Musik wird schon mehr. Mhm. Ja. Müsste jetzt eigentlich nicht die Nurse um die Ecke kommen. Shall we go? Or shall we lie some more? Oh Gott, du willst es wirklich dringend, oder? She smiled again and this time her smile seemed foxy to me. As if she was hinting something. Let's go. I haven't moved an inch. Warum hält er eigentlich ihren, ihre Hand fest? Hält er die andere auch fest? Was geht hier eigentlich ab? Well, to get going, you got to get up first. Obviously. I felt like some invisible force was holding me in place. Slavia seemed to recognize that and carefully slipped out from under me. Are you going to stay there? She laughed. Ah. At the point, I finally, it came, finally, I finally came to my senses and stood up. I'm sorry. That's okay. Diese Szene hätte gleich passieren sollen und die letzten fünf Minuten nicht. But we haven't finished it all. We'll have to clean up the rest later. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Ich will nicht. Ich bin nicht zu dir. I was keeping silence through all the way to the canteen. Slavia rambled on about her slice of life in the camp, but given that it was indeed a monologue, I wasn't paying much attention. Oh, jetzt geht's Ärger. Oh, Kampfmusik! Ah, into battle! Coming to the canteen, I saw Olga Dimitrievna at the porch. Do you want to explain anything to me, young man? Now I remember that I forgot him something. Nope. How was your cleaning duty? Well, oh, good enough. Yet, Ulyana told me that it wasn't. That's all her fault. And what did I tell you? I ordered to clean it up together. And what were you doing? I don't know what to say. As deep down I know that she's right. Don't blame him. Samuel was helping me at the library. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's all great and stuff, but... To cut a long story short, You won't get a dinner tonight. Huh. Ohne Abendessen ins Bett, junger Mann. Hmm. How sad? Why? I protested. However, my protest looked more like a demand for a refill at the prison mess hall. Bold and daring, but still stupid and counterproductive. Hope that'll teach you a lesson. 
At this instant, Uga Dimitrovna looked more like an ancient Roman legendary commander than a tiny pioneer camp leader. I had no idea how to object her. Forgive him! And take me as a responsible one! Oh, bitte beschreib mich! Camp leader took her time to think it over. All right, if so. Thanks. Thanks. Wow. Oh God, that was so spannend. We hurried inside. Well, I'm gonna join the girls. We had a prior arrangement. Take care. She smiled and waved her goodbyes. Seriously, where would I be without her? There were no free places near Slavia, and besides, I wasn't introduced to her friends. It seems that I will have to share a dinner table with Anatronic and Shurik. There were no more places to sit. What's happening, gentlemen? Every time I had to deal with them, I was getting an itching desire to tease them or at least to drop something cheeky or cocky. It might be too risky to behave myself that way, but electronic brothers were my primary source of positive emotions. How are you doing? Fine, what about you? Hits and misses. I have ihn wieder vergessen. Has anything happened? Lots of stuff. Mind sharing. Ah, uh, some other time maybe. As you wish. He made a helpless gesture. We are going to disco after dinner. Electronic giggled. <laughs> I know that. Who would you want to ask out? I haven't thought about it yet. What about you? I, well, I... Fragte ihn. It seems that this question caught him off guard. Ask on Jana, that won't make her happy. No thanks. Electronic furiously waved his hands. And you, Shirik, go, gotta ask Alyssa out. Thanks, I'd rather abstain. He looked calmer than his mate. Oh, come on, guys, it would be fun. And in any case, we've got things to do. We still have to finish the robot. Oh, that's a marvelous idea. Ask out your robot. Can it dance? It can't even walk yet. Shurik probably missed the point completely. Oh, so was got Shurik, guy. Electronic. Oh. Why. <laughs> Why it would be a great demonstration of our achievements in front of the camp. And what would we show to them? Yeah, you're right. They both start at the plates disappointingly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, geht's weiter? Hallo? Dinner was over and the pioneers started to disperse. What will you wear for the ball? I asked Shurik and Electronic. We don't have anything special to wear. We'll go as we are. He pointed at his pioneer in uniform. They don't seem to care about the appearance at all. Das sind ja auch die Nerds, Mann. Hm. Why should I care then? Wearing winter clothes is not an option, so I just go like that. When does it start? After nine o'clock. Got it. I left the canteen and deeply inhaled the fresh evening air. I remembered those rare discos I used to go at school. Hesitation, insecurity, and even fear. I couldn't dance. I didn't know how to react if someone would invite me. I wouldn't dare to invite someone myself. All in all, it felt pretty uncomfortable. I felt pretty uncomfortable around it. And it was even more unpleasant to watch others having fun. Ah, Spaß. Not envy at all. Well, I have to go. Ich glaube, jetzt habe ich auch so etwas übersprungen. Egal. In a couple of minutes, I was standing at the square. The loudspeakers and some DJ equipment. Oh, man. Oh. 
Okay, ich hatte Zeit, bla bla bla, er hat ein bisschen geschlafen, alles klar. Okay, sorry, ich hab's irgendwie übersprungen, egal. The loudspeakers and some DJ equipment were installed near the monument and the trees were decorated with light strings. Ja, super zu sehen. Ah, one typical countryside disco. A lot of pioneers around, but no familiar faces, so I just sat on the bench and waited. I don't have to dance after all. Maybe I'll be able to just sit and chat with someone. Hey, nee, Moment. Hey, that face! Ach, die Mädels ziehen sich anders an, ja? Uliana. Here to suggest something. Come on, let's dance! It's way too early. There's not even music yet. <sighs> you're so, you're so boring. Yeah, I'm not the merriest person for such an event. She ran away. So Oyana did wear something like an evening dress. Pretty funny. Hi! Das ist so albern. Die Mädchen ziehen sich alle um und die Jungs sind dann ihre Uniform. Slavia. Hey. She sat down by my side. How's the evening? Ihr Kleid ist irgendwie ganz süß. Fine. Why are you so sad? I'm not. Okay, dancing will surely cheer you up. Maybe. Don't forget to leave one dance for me. Ne. She laughed and ran to the music equipment. Ich frage mich, ob wir die Wahl haben, mit wem wir tanzen. Wenn überhaupt. The situation was getting serious. I won't be able to sit through the whole disco. Oh no. Hi. Oh, das ist auch süß. Aber ohne, dass die Shutdown da wäre, ist ziemlich... Mm. Lina came closer. Sie ist gerade das erste Mal von allein zu uns gekommen, ne? Uh, hi, you're here too. Is it such a wonder? Yes. Okay. Gonna light the party up? The joke turned out sour. Oh. Lina blushed and looked down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's not the best idea, setting everything on fire. <laughs> okay, then I shall. Yeah. Hmm, she left. Hmm. It looked like the whole camp was at the square. The pioneers formed, a large, gro formed large groups, talked, joked around and laughed. At the DJ panel, Ulyana argued loudly with Olga Dimitrievna about the playlist for this evening. And here it is. Oh, jetzt haben wir wirklich Lichter. Natürlich so ein schmusiger Schnuffel-Song. The music started to play. I didn't know the band or the song, but I really felt that I'd take it uh, to, to Soviet pop classic, if you'd ask me. Panias just stood there for some time, as if not hearing the music. Uh, it's always hard to make a first step, especially if you're pretty sure that you'll be the only one who would make it. Oyana seemed to know that simple truth. She reached the center of the square with a few leaves and cried out loud. What are you standing for? And started to wiggle ridiculously. To wiggle is the exact word. You couldn't find a better one. It looked so silly and funny that I couldn't resist laughing. She noticed it. Hey, Damien! I was pretending I can't hear her. Stop pretending! Come on here! I've kept ignoring her. Fanny slowly realized that they are not too sexy for this party and started to dance. It looked really silly from my point of view. Shaking one's arms and legs to the beat of long forgotten hits. Come on, get real. Yes, it's cool sometimes. Of course, I couldn't dance uh, whatsoever, but this thing couldn't be called a dance either. Dann mach doch einfach mit. Hey, Samian, what are you sitting there for? Don't you want to dance? I was so deep in thought that I haven't noticed Slavia. Not really. Are you sure? She smiled. 
maybe later. Damn, what am I even doing here? One more invitation to dance would completely ruin my pride. I started to think about an appropriate excuse to leave and was looking for the moment to do so. But then I saw Lena. She was slowly heading my way. Maybe we should go? Where to? I was so immersed in my thoughts that I didn't really get what she meant. To the infirmary! Ah, yeah! Lass es abhauen. But if you want to stay here and dance? I doubt she was going to dance. Lena stood aside the whole evening. No, I pass. Let's go. At least I won't have to stand here like a shy nerd. Was du bist. Und was auch nicht schlimm ist. Seriously, trying to conceal myself in the corner wasn't very pleasant. Bull in the shiner shop could, could be more egal than me on the dance floor. I didn't have the slightest intention to dance in the first place. Well, let's go to the infirmary. Lena took me out from my thoughts. We've been just standing near the canteen for some time. Ja, uh, yeah, uh, sure, thank you. Ich stelle mir das so eigenartig vor. Man geht mit ihm durch die Gegend, auf einmal bleibt er stehen. Hm, hm, oh ja, hm, hm, denk, denk. Uh, hallo, Samian, uh, ja, okay, alles gut. Na dann. What for? She looked at me in surprise. Oh, oh, well, for taking me out there. I couldn't have told her that dancing is not my thing. It's, uh, you know, so boring there. You don't like dancing, seems... Jetzt, jetzt ist ihre Stimme zu ich nicht wie Slavia. Ja, um. You don't like dancing, seems to me. There was not a trace of sarcasm on her truthful, even childlike face. Seems like she really doesn't understand. Uh, yes, don't like that at all. I'm not into it. Me too. No one ever invites me to dance. Oh, wie traurig. Lina blushed and stared at the ground as usual. Strange. What's strange? Well, that no one ever invites you. You think so? Again, she looked at me with the expression of surprise and lack of understanding. I got confused and I couldn't find right away what to say in return. Uh, yes, certainly. If I liked dancing, I would have invited you for sure. Thanks. That's don't have aus, maybe. We didn't say a word for the rest of the way. Lena obviously felt too confused about my awkward compliment and I just didn't know what topic to choose for the conversation. <coughs> It was completely dark by that time and the gloomy building of infirmary covered in the night mist strongly looked like a haunted house. I felt a strong desire to turn around and walk away without making much noise. I threw a quick glance at Lena and noticed that she looked ordinary, shy, modest, uncertain, but not in a way, anyway, scared. Das sieht gerade der Anfang, wie ah, an, nee, das sieht gerade aus wie der Anfang von einem Horrorfilm oder so. Nein, geht nicht rein, nein, ich werde sterben, nein. Na mal schauen. It just made me even more uncomfortable. It can't be that she is not scared while I... Suddenly an owl hooted nearby and I shivered. Lina seemed not to hear it or not to pay it any attention or she was just not scared at all. I hardly could believe that third option, but I didn't want to ask her about it, revealing my fear. Then du bist ja viel zu mündig. I entered the infirmary and found a switch in the dark. Will the nurse come later? She won't come. Okay, she won't come, understood. Oh, wait a second. How is it she won't come? Oh, I see. It's not that I'm afraid to be alone with Lena. Indoors, at night, with no one around. Only in movies something happens under such circumstances. Man, du bist auch wie im Film vom Schuh gefallen. It's just that I'm with Lena and not with Rihanna or Slavia. And it seriously changed my attitude towards things happening. There are the boxes. 
She pointed at the messy stack of boxes. There were about a dozen of them. It would make much more than a ten minutes of work. I put one of the boxes on the table before me and started to take out its contents. There were bandages, lots of little packs of bandages. Here, take this. Lena gave me a piece of paper. There were some fields and I quickly realized that I could, should put the name in the left article in the middle if there is one and quantity in the right field. Not the database, but it will do. The work started in full swing. Samyan. Oh, what? I looked at Lena. She stared at me for a couple of moments, seemingly making up her mind to do or to say something, but then lowered her gaze again. N no, never mind. It was physically hard for me to just sit without saying a word. However, I couldn't dare to speak first. Not only be because I can't think of a good topic for conversation, but that I was just feeling shy. The girl could easily be embarrassed by anything. Samyan... Yes? You are counting them all over again. I indeed started to take out and put into the database the bandages I had already counted. Uh, sorry. She did not answer. Hey, where are you from? I mean, where did you come from? Meaning, where, where are you born? I mean, where do you live? Uh. Uh, well, I... There is a town not far from here. Not far from here? Where is that? There. Looks like she doesn't want to talk about it. Does Lena hide something too? It is explainable in the case of Olga Dimitrovna, but in Lena's case, it's absolutely not like her. Is it a secret? No. Just... So it's somewhere in this house too? I should have thought of something more original. Every single one of my son ideas turned out the wrong way, and this attempt to play spy worked out even worse. And I thought about Sarge just because the only pioneer camp of Soviet Union I remembered was Arctic. Yes. Nina hesitated to reply. I couldn't quite get if she was lying or not. Don't you like it here? Wondering which part of what I said made her think so. Absolutely not. I like it here. False friendliness sounded very insincere, grating on the ears. What about you? I like it. It's so calm here. There are a lot of books in the library. And people are nice. Uh, nice, but not all of them. Why? Did I really say that last bit out loud? Turns out I did. And it's a film with well, you know, Ulyana, for example, she's like an energizer battery with a completely unbalanced point of power application. It brings product placement. Battery? What? Maybe I really was sent back in time. Never mind. Or Alyssa, this. The saying Pioneer is the kid's role model is certainly not about her. If everyone will start following, following her example, it will be a complete disaster for the country in 20 years or so. However, thinking about it now, you can make a conclusion that everybody followed the example of Alyssa in the 80s, where probably am, I am right now. She's not like that, actually. Not like... Uh, how was that? Not like what you speak of her. To begin with, I haven't said anything. Just stated the fact that she is not the best example to follow. Well, maybe. Sounds like you know her well enough. Probably. I asked the question only to keep the conversation going and didn't express an answer like that. Alyssa and Lina were so different. The idea that they may they can be close was unbelievable for me. <clears throat> we came from the same town. 
as she had foreseen my question. We have common friends, even though Alyssa is one year older. Okay, it's a little bit strange. Uh, not that, I'm just surprised. Everyone gets surprised. Lina smiled a bit. I took the second box. Enigium activated charcoal and enigium activated calm. Lina always spoke with, uh, with simple sentences. How can I communicate with her in, if every our conversation turns into my monologue or just an awkward silence? I wasn't quite satisfied with such state of things. Okay, versuchen wir beim nächsten Mal mal mehr aus Lena rauszukriegen. Jetzt reicht es erstmal wieder. Ich finde das gerade sehr spannend, weil ich habe diese, diese Stelle auch noch nicht gehabt. Gucken wir beim nächsten Mal weiter. Das war's erstmal von eurem Nerdmädchen.